If you're curious to know how to make $200 each morning scalping stocks in the market, this video is for you. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to change your perspective on the markets, specifically with day trading. So in my last video, I referenced a rabbit hole that I had gone down for quite some time. I actually took a little break from YouTube and I just did some deep dives because as many of you know, I'm an options trader typically and I do some swing trading, but the issue I was running into was volatility was very low. So it makes options trading a little more difficult. So I wanted to find another source of trading that could kind of help my daily profits when I'm not so heavy in the options trades. And that happened to be an exploration of day trading. So I did put a scalp strategy video up. I did put a VWAP updated video up so you can check those out. Um, I'll go ahead and link those around somewhere. But I wanted to get into a very specific topic related to this rabbit hole that will help you understand how I've been making $200 most mornings in the first 15 minutes of my day. And that specific approach that I wanna share with you right now is scalping stocks. Now before you leave the channel because you're thinking, oh, he's just another pump and dump penny stock trader, it's completely not what I'm doing. That's absolutely not what I'm into. I don't trade penny stocks. Many of you know if you're a subscriber to my channel and you've been around for a while, you know I don't trade any penny stocks. I'm a mid cap, large cap, mega cap guy. I love liquidity. And that's what's so unique about what I've been doing is that I've been scalping large cap stocks that are extremely liquid. And for example, one that I've been scalping over and over and over is AMD. Now, if you go to Finviz or Bar Chart or you, you run a scanner in Thinkorswim and you look at AMD and look at the volume it does each day, it's usually a top of the leaderboard. It'll do 85 million shares some days, 46 million shares, 50 million shares. So it's extremely li liquid. And the bid ask spread is usually one or two pennies wide. So I just want to share what I've been doing and kind of just jump into the simplicity of particular day trade setups and how I found this, how I got here. I want to talk about why I started scalping because it gets a little interesting when you're trying to put together a really complicated day trading setup. So I wanna get into that today. And also in this video, I wanna give you something that you can think about. I have kind of a concept I wanna kick your way, and I want you to comment below and let me know what you think of it. But before we jump into any of these topics, do me a favor, just jump down, hit that subscribe button, give me the thumbs up, give me a like on the video, it'll help promote the video, make it more accessible to more people, and really help this channel to grow. And if you're interested in joining our Facebook group, there's a link below, you can hit that. It'll come on over to me. You just answer a couple questions. I'll let you into the Facebook group and you can join our other 85 folks to just share ideas and kind of just discuss day trading, swing trading, and options trading. But let's jump into some of these topics. So the first thing I want to do right off the bat is just give you sort of something to think about. Imagine, let's look at this chart right here. I'm just going to close this down. Just look at this chart on AMD. This is the 15 minute chart um, and this is actually today's action. And I'm gonna go to yesterday just for a little more dramatic effect here. Let's say of all these candles, so you know, AMD went to a high of let's call it $83, and it was at a low of $77.50. So let's say AMD moved about, let's just call it $6 for simplicity. What if I told you all you needed to do was just pull a dime out of that? Or if I told you you just needed to pull 20 cents out of that? That whole move, you just needed 20 cents and you'd be good to go day after day after day. So that's what I wanna to present to you today. In this price action, my focus recently has been to try to pull 20 to 35 cents out of the market one time. And the reason that I'm making this work is because I use that range, that 20 cents, 30 cents, 35 cents, I use that as my risk value. So that's gonna be the amount of my stop loss. And then what I do is I double that amount as my target, and that's my 2R take profit. So every time I win, I win two units. Every time I lose, I lose one unit. I have previous videos about this. You can look at those the risk videos on my channel and check that out. 
but it's very simple to follow. It gives you a nice structured way of presenting a risk and reward for yourself. Sorry about that, that is doorbell. Um, and so I wanted to get into that a little bit and show you my trade from today. So I'm just gonna flip this on. Let's show the trades. And if you look at today's price action, you can see, and actually what I might do is just go to the five minute chart just to show you this. So that's a little simpler. So this first five minute candle, right? Look how big that is. Look how it's moving around. So you can see my entry down here. I bought 334 shares at 83 and a quarter. And then you can see from 83 and a quarter, I moved to 83.85. So that's 60 cents. So what I did in this trade was I went ahead and I just used this. I used a trigger with brackets. I have one pre-made. I call it a high-low bracket. I click that and you can see right here. It sets up a 10 cent and 30 cent stop. You can set up a template however you want. But for example, for this trade, I would have had a 30 cent stop and a 60 cent take profit. So if I lose, I lose one unit. If I win, I win two. And that's what I did with this trade. I went ahead and decided to take an entry as this was pushing up and I went ahead and put out the bracket with the 30 cent stop and a 60 cent take profit. And then once I get triggered in, I'm riding it up trying to get to 60 cents or whatever double my stop loss is, jumping out. I can show you that here in my account. And you can see right here, I was up $200.40 this morning and that was just on one trade. It's the only day trade I do every morning. I take one each morning and let's show you. Yeah, so that was today and it's just very simple. You just set up, you determine what you stop loss, what you want that to be. I just chose 30 cents because I was kind of watching how much the candles were moving in the pre-market. Jumped in right before the open of the market, put out the bracket order, it ran up, triggered me out, and I'm done. So the simplicity of scalping is finding a point in the price action where you can say, all right, price action is gonna do this or this. You're trying to limit variables. And that's what I got into trouble with with some of my strategies prior was there were too many variables to control. Like it had to be below a crossover, it had to be below a moving average with a certain volume, it had to show a certain candle and then it did this. And what I found was I ended up just watching charts all day and not really getting any trading action like I wanted. And when I did, it was kind of hit or miss. I couldn't really pin it in a corner. And I'm going to give you kind of a ridiculous sort of um, analogy. Let's say that you had a puppy and it got loose and it ran outside and you were trying to figure out how to get it back, how to catch it. What would you want to do? Ideally, you would want to try to pin it in a corner, like between a fence and a house or something. Or if it were in the house and you were trying to grab it, you would try to pin it between maybe the, the back of the bathroom door and the wall. You want to remove variables. You want to say, okay, instead of giving the puppy four directions to run, I want to give it two directions to run. So what I discovered was with volatility being highest right at the open, and the most volume being in the morning right at the open, as you look at this, you can see there's this gigantic green candle showing about 5.76 million shares traded in the first 15 minutes. So that presents an opportunity to say, okay, I'm gonna bet up or I'm gonna bet down. If I win, I win two. If I lose, I lose one. And that's kind of how I've been playing things. I've been keeping it very, very simple and things have gone really, really well. Now, in a later video, I wanna give you my exact strategy completely for free because you guys know I'm not, I don't sell courses, I don't sell anything, I just give you information as I discover and learn it. Um, so I am gonna give you my strategy down the road when I get things ironed out completely. So turn on those post notifications and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss when I upload that video on my exact strategy, like down to the exact fine detail of what I'm doing. But what I'm primarily doing, just to give you the general sense, is finding a spot in the markets where I've noticed that things move up or down. And then I'm just saying to myself, I only want 20 cents of that move. 
I only want 30 cents of that move. And as long as my stop loss is half of what my take profit is, target is, you're good to go. Two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. That is a profitable trading system if you can win 50% or even 40% or better of the time. Now I have old videos that talk about risk reward strategies, how to kind of set things up, how to decide on three to one, two to one, 1 1.5 to one. I get all into that in, in previous videos and I wanna make more videos about that. So if you wanna see more content about risk and reward ratios, comment below, let me know, cause I'd like to make some more. But I really want to share a lot in the upcoming months about scalping and what I've been doing. I've just found that this is a more consistent, profitable trade for me because I know that it's going to move in the morning. I know it's going to move up or down. And based on my bias, I can just throw out a bracket, take 20 cents, take 30 cents, and call it a day. So you can see right here that 200 bucks today, that's one type of trading I do. And then when I'm done with this, I go over to options and I start working on my options trades. So this is kind of my, my wake up, get started for the day, and then I move on. And as you can see, if I roll back here, you can see yesterday, I took this one. This one ended up being an entry, let's see, this one ended up being a buy at 78.52, and I rode this spike up and exited at 79.23 for another $200 gain. The day before, I didn't actually take a trade, but on Monday, I took this short position. I just threw out a bracket, I got short out of the gate, and ended up getting a nice move from 84.96 is where I entered, and I took my profit and covered my position at 84.36. So that ended up being another 60 cent move. So it's been a really interesting thing to dive into not worrying about volume all the time as I go through the day. Should I get in now? Should I wait? How long should I hold this trade? I've sort of removed all the decision making from these scalp trades and just said, I know volume's high every day on AMD because it's extremely liquid. It's a large cap. It's a tight bid ask spread, so there won't be much slippage. So I'm just gonna make a bet every day on a scalp and I don't care if AMD moves $10 today. I don't care if it moves $3 today. I just want 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 cents out of it and that's it. And then I take my money and I walk away. And as you accumulate these trades and later on down the road, I'll take you into my TraderView account. If you guys aren't using TraderView, that's a really great way to track your trades. It's TraderView and view is spelled V-U-E. You can upload your trades from Thinkorswim. You can then get all your metrics. It'll show you breakdowns of when you're trading best in terms of time of day or which name has been most profitable for you or even what day a week is best for you. So you can really drill down. So after I rack up a bunch more trades, I'm gonna take you guys into that account in another video down the road and show you exactly what I've been doing and how two steps forward and one step back is extremely profitable if you can maintain and establish some consistency, meaning winning better than 40%. If you win four out of 10 times and you take two to one profit, that's a profitable system and you can scale that. And the thing to think about is, some people ask me, well, if you're only getting 40, 50 cents out of the trade, then how does that ever make you really awesome money? And, and the key to that is scaling. So these 334 shares that I had for because I'm risking $100 to make $200. This could have been easily 500 shares or 750 shares or 1,000 shares. So scaling the amount of shares that I'm buying or selling for this trade is how I would increase my profits. I wouldn't hold and expect the trade to do more. I would just scale the number of shares and let the trade continue to just produce the 20 to 60 cents right in that area so that you don't have to worry about catching trades that are the stocks that are really performing. It can just be a little swing up or down. And one thing you might find, which I've been finding recently, is some of these trades, and I guess today might be a good example, like, you know, at the open, it dropped over a dollar. And then after that, it then ran up over a dollar. So you, you technically could have played this to the downside and to the upside. The key is just finding a spot where you feel comfortable with an entry. So 
don't just start trading this because I am or because I mentioned it. Back test it. You know, I've done a lot of back testing on this, trying to figure out where I want to enter. And I will give that to you guys in another video down the road. But for now, just think about trying to carve out 20, 30, 40 cents and then calling it a day. It keeps you from over trading. You already know that if you win, you're going to make two. And if you lose, you're going to lose one because you're using the bracket. That's a very, very good way of doing things. But go into the paper trade account, trade this out, see what you think. Um, don't put any real money against this until you've back tested it, you know, 40, 50, 60 times. Kind of see what you think of the process. But um, when I do give you the full strategy, then I want to get more comments from you guys about if you've tried it and what you think of it and what your back testing has showed. So with that, go out there, remove some variables, paper trade a strategy, find an inflection point where you can make a decision, up or down, and give scalping a try. It's kind of interesting. Like always, like and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.